the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. God bless you. I appreciate you uh, uh, to joining us and doing our Bible study for the week. Um, and and they just, I break them down in segments. And so I and thank you for uh, taking time to listen to this one that you're going to listen to. And we will encourage you to continue to subscribe and, and, and make comments. And we'll just continue to allow the Holy Spirit to perfect us to do those things that are important. I do want to make sure that one of the things we talked about, the fact is, read the scriptures for yourself. Read the scriptures for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Read it and incorporate it in your prayer life. And that's what I do. I like to read the one chapter of the New Testament in the morning and one chapter of the Old Testament at night. You can reverse that, but you need to read the scriptures for yourself and you get better appreciation for the teaching of others that teach the gospel because you they're lining up with the word of god the, the what we talked about today was once again we got the catholic church is is the pope is apologizing for some of the colonial tools and techniques that was used during that time uh that was really not lined up with the gospel the missionary that was a preach the gospel not encourage uh, they call it the doctrine of discovery which is really another colorful way of saying uh, of conquering and putting people in slavery and the fact is that that does not line up with the scripture but if people never knew the scripture people can read the scripture people don't understand the scriptures they can be deceived what I'm saying is for you in 2023 there is no excuse amen so listen to this the, the, this segment here. Uh, we talked about the fact is that uh, the at least I use this one. It still focus on the steal, kill, and destroy. But I did put down there this title that uh, the Pope is actually talking about the the doctrine of discovery. So the Catholic, the Catholic folk is addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is a doctrine of steal, kill, and destroy. Taking other people's land, taking other people's lives, taking, just destroying who they are, for and try to say to do it in the name of Christ. And I'm telling you that that is not the doctrine of Christ. So let's, so that's why it's important for you to, be, to read it now. 2023, you don't have an excuse. Matter of fact, 2023 does not give you an excuse you don't have an excuse for discrimination. You have no excuse for lying and, and trying to torment people and everything else. You don't have an excuse for it. You, you can't use Christianity as an excuse. And that's what we want to make sure that you as a believer follow the way of Christ. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. So we got to go His way if we want eternal life. That's a choice. Or you can continue to do the world's way. You can continue to do the rape, the stealing, the killing, the destroying. You can do all those things because you're not following Christ. But don't be deceived to say you are when you're not. That's the point I'm trying to bring out to you, man. So that's what the study is about. Uh, like I said, we'll break it out in A, B, C, and D. And I'll see you when I see you. And don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Enjoy the study coming up. Bye-bye. D, D, and why can't I work on it now? Right, right. Why? Yeah, that's so important. And I think I tell you, when the hospital one ministry and visited a man, he was looking at TV and he was so sad because his wife, he said he wanted his wife to be in purgatory. My wife is in purgatory. I was like, wow. Okay. Well, guess what? You need to. You need to. If you believe your wife is in purgatory. If that's what you feel comfortable with, you know, that's a choice that you make, and that man can't make that choice for you. All he can do, though, is read the scriptures for you. What and, about uh, Carlton Pearson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, that dude, man. His uncle passed, and he lost, he, he lost his whole theology. 
trying to find a way to get them out of hell. Yeah. And so if, if you can see that in modern day times, you can see how that would happen in 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 history. Yeah, it's almost the fact it's almost saying is that you love somebody so much and you yeah. know where they're going mm -hmm. that you just have to do whatever you can to get your mind to accept yeah. a different uh you know a, a alternative reality. Exactly. Matter of fact, it, it's it's like King James then it creating the Church of England. Mm -hmm. Just to divorce that woman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I don't like this accountability, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. And then mm -hmm. cut the woman's head off too. Yeah. Yeah. Sad, ain't it? Yeah. Wow. Lust wow. of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. The desire for power, the for vain glory, which is what your sister in law loved to hear. Vain glory. So we, that's the thing we got to work on. And, and just to close it up, just to close it up, it's the scripture that tells people, just remind them what they're supposed to be again, right? Mm -hmm. It is just these two slides. So read that to them and remind people okay. what they're supposed to be. What'd you got? Got to put it up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hold on. Easy. It's called hitting that green button, right? It's yeah, called I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's share, right? <laughs> Woo. People read this. This is what you, this is an example. This is just one of the few examples of which is supposed to be if you read the New Testament. Okay. For the love of Christ constraineth us. Mm. Man, that's powerful in itself. It does, right? Because that. <laughs> The love of Yeshua will constrain us. From doing what? Bad things. Yeah. Because thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. Mm -hmm. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, Come on. but unto him which died for them mm -hmm. and rose again. Keep so point, he didn't right just stop there. with the death. Come, come on, that's the key didn't point. Didn't stop with the death. Amen. So if you if you if you are dead in him, mm, mm. Then you he have to partake into the resurrection <laughs> with him. Yes, sir. <laughs> As, wherefore, wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Oh, that's going against all this supremacy stuff, isn't it? That's, that's going against all this world. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, man. It's and telling, it's it's telling it's you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. Though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. After the flesh. Yeah. Not after the flesh. Not after the flesh. That's because, what you're trying to tell us. Yeah, the flesh is gone. Exactly. Exactly. It's not it's not even a, a thought anymore. Yeah, and he's right. trying to tell us the same for us ourselves, right? Yeah. That's what he's trying to tell all of us. Does not look at the, the flesh, but look at the spirit. Yeah. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creature. Yes, sir. Old things are passed away. Come on now. We hope all things are become new. Yes. Not some things. All things are become new. Yes. Now, keep in mind, we're not looking at the flesh no, no more. <laughs> no more. We're looking at the spirit. We're looking spirit. at the heart of one another. And if you understand the spirit, that, that we're now talking about the spirit, then you understand that the old things have passed away. Exactly. The, the old things are the flesh. Passed. So all things, which is yes. spirit, we're talking about we've been raised in Christ. Come on now. All things are become new. Yes. And all things are of God. Yes. All His spirit. Things. So, who hath reconciled us to himself by Yeshua Amashe. Yes, Jesus sir. Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Not the ministry of slavery. No. Not the ministry of abuse. Or separation. Not the ministry or of separation. separation. Or Come selfishness. On yeah. or, or, or exclusion. Come on now. This is the yeah. ministry of pulling 
Reconcile means to to pull back together. Oh, together. Together. So you're gathering those yeah. who are lost in this world mm. back to God, back yes. to the Garden of Eden. Yes. And you can't get that from stealing, killing, and destroying. No, you cannot because no. you have to go by what is the new commandment. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. is to love God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength, and to love your neighbor. Yes, that's which, Come which, on, bro. Which, which will cause you to reconcile. Yes, out of love. Hey, the brother, come on. Come on, man. Come on. I got, I, got, I, got, I got a system for you. Right? <laughs> yeah, ministry is already set up. Uh, and, and, and this is how powerful that ministry is. Yes. A new born Christian mm -hmm. falls into that ministry because the first thing they do is run out and proclaim the gospel. Come I on been saved yes sir and it didn't it wasn't based on my ability but based on what he did i That's mean the they, 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 if they don't understand anything they understand it i yes. am new i am a new creation all things have passed away yes sir come on i am a new creation that is the gospel exactly I hide through a devil's hell any longer no. I've been redeemed. I am a child of God. My father is the creation of all. Of all. My and brother and my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. My brother is my Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, look, look, back to Adam and Cain and Abel. Yeah. Where is your brother? Yes. This brother, this is going to get bad and say, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. God should answer. Yes, you are. Yeah, well, I can tell you where my brother is. He's seated at the right hand Woo. of my father. Come on now. Where my brother is. Ask me. Yes, sir. My brother is. Come on, brother. I'm with you. That's what that but he's called us to do that. We call we have a ministry of reconciliation, yes. not a ministry of isolation, not a ministry of slavery, not a ministry of discovery, of, of taking somebody else's you can't discover nothing but somebody's yeah. on it. If you take that doctrine, people can go to people's home there and say, I discovered your home. Yeah. I'm going I'm to reclaim. I'll put a flag in your living room. <laughs> what it says, 19. It's to wit that God was in Christ. Well. Reconciling the word unto him, the world unto himself. Come on. Not imputing their trespasses unto them. Mm -mm. And I have admitted them. unto us the word of reconciliation so this is this is what's awesome he wasn't out saying you know this is what you did yeah. this is what you did yeah. this disqualifies you wow this disqualifies you he was pulling in with love exactly not Pointing out their trespasses, which is what somehow Not we did. doing that, right? Isn't that something? We did that. Ministry of death, ministry yeah. of pointing out everybody's fault, and yet this scripture is clearly indicating that he was not imputing their trespasses on themselves. I don't care if the person walks in with a crack pipe, mm -hmm. and here's the ministry of reconciliation yes sir you do not hold that against no. them anymore yes, matter, of fact, matter of fact your encouragement should be to find out who you are who yes. is this new creation now that you are because your old self you know who the old is yes sir yes, that's sir. been buried that's been buried alongside Yeshua in that tomb. Come on now. Now, this is what you need to do. Find out who you are. Find out that life has been given to you. Yes, sir. That it's almost like that book has a purpose-driven... Purpose-driven purpose -driven life. Yes, sir. 
all yeah. things that pertain to life and godliness has been now. placed within you. And you need to know what that contains. Yeah. And well, without I think finding out who you are, you will never know that and you will never be able to apply your faith to it for it to manifest. So you have to read. Yes, sir. You have to get into this word, which is the full circle that we're back into. In order to be, in order to be a minister of reconciliation, you have to get into you the word. You have to get into the word because it is imperative that yes. you renew your mind. Yes. And you know, to renew your mind is to, for all things to pass away, you have to renew. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He had, he had a guy, I saw on TikTok the other day, on one of the social media, where this guy was uh, Muslim. These are Muslim guys, and they were going to get, talk to this Christian and said, is Christ God? And the guy said, yes, he's God. Then how can he speak to God? And the, he's trying to reason something out. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and he didn't understand and said, do you not know the scriptures? Are you asking me because you want me to reason out divine power, divine mm -hmm. revelation, or do you want me to just tell you what the gospel said? Yeah. Who is Christ? Well, guess what? You know, he is in that scripture, because the reason I put it in, look right there, what 19 says. Where is God? God was, is, was in Christ. Exactly. That's the whole point. And Christ and then, is in us. Come and on, Christ now. is in us. Then God, God is, is in us. Now. That's why he said, great is he that is in me, the he is in the world. Yes. Come on. People, it's like this. God, you know, he could he should have freaked them out and said, guess what? You know what? God's in me too. Yeah. The Holy Spirit came in me. Yeah. That's why he's God too. Yeah. And he's in me. Oh, maybe you don't understand. Even when when Adam was breath breathed, when the breath of life was poured into him, that won't air, brother. That was that was, <laughs> that the, was the essence of God. Of God. Woo! Yeah, Come that on, was bro. He, he poured himself into a physical body. Come on. And Adam became a yes. living soul. Exactly. And the word was he, he, Christ is the express image of him. Yeah. His words. The word was made. I mean, that's why you're supposed to get to get you minister to somebody. You you're trying to get them to read this and I said, let me tell you, I'm just gonna tell you what the word says. I don't need you, you 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 interpret it one, but the bottom line is the word was made flesh yeah. and dwelt among us. The word was in the Mary was impregnated by the word, by the Holy Spirit. That's why he's God in flesh. That's why he said, I am. <laughs> I am what you need me to be. Right now, you need a savior. Therefore, I am. <laughs> he, but the guy was trying to reason with him. He needs to understand that even he is a three-part being. Exactly. exactly. He is a spirit. A separated yeah. spirit. He yeah. has a soul. That's his yes, cognitive self. And living in a body. Well, That's the three-part being right there. Yeah, well, you can do it even better than that. I got it for this to go on the cardinal level. Brother Addison, he's a father. Yeah. He's a husband. He's whatever other, whatever yeah. else you want to give him, but he's he's still one person yeah. with many different roles in himself. Yeah. See that? But they can't recognize that because they want to put God in a box. That's what people, that's how, that's how. Well, they, they're, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to, what, what is the word I'm looking for? Well, they're, they're trying to rationalize mm -hmm. something to where it could be, uh, man, I can't think of the word. Uh, it's, 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 it's just, trying to make make it to where it's it's humanized yeah that's what you where, exactly you, you, yeah, yeah. You, you 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 trying to constrain it within a physical realm mm -hmm. you're trying and, to limit and, god <laughs> yeah and you're trying to put it on physical 
<laughs> human attributes. Exactly. Physical and laws and everything. Yeah. Yep. And, yeah. And, and, and even those have been broken. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> yeah. there's planes flying around. There's exactly. That could live underwater, you mm -hmm. know, because they're, they're, they're things that they're doing to offset those laws yes. of, of physical existence. Exactly. So, you can't you can't apply that mm -mm. you can't apply, apply human reasoning to spiritual to spirituality exactly well, the fact is you can't describe the fact that he's an omnipresent god yeah right he, he could be he could be in africa he could be here he could be both places at the same time because he's not limited to the yeah. physical laws so when you're trying to rationalize something, you'd be like, you, 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 you're missing a whole boat. And if yeah. you don't want to go by faith, can I tell one of he said, faith, I, I don't live by faith. I said, well, you know, you do have faith in things. You may not have faith. Well, I'm talking about faith in God, but we do live by faith oh, yeah. in a lot of cases. You don't run, you don't go through that green light without faith <laughs> that that guy going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got it there. But that's what I'm saying. God is in Christ. That's where the hope of glory is at, right? And it's committed us to word. And then what 20 say? And look at this is this is this is what I'm trying to say, people, about this the atrocities yeah. that this doctrine of discovery had done. Yeah. Uh, because that means you are who's the ambassador? Well, go ahead and read it for I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, 520. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by the by us. Yes. Meaning those who have already shared the gospel to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we pray you in Christ's stead on his behalf. Yes. He's speaking through us. Yeah. And, and, and we allow it on his behalf. On his behalf. That you be ye reconciled to God. Be be you pulled back. Come on. And reconnected to God. Yeah. He Allowing you back into them God. because he's not going to force anything on you. He's giving you free will. He so it has free will. to be your choice. Come on. <laughs> your will. Yes, sir. That you receive him. And then once you do that, he'll never leave you. Nor forsake you. Exactly. And that's all we're trying to tell. That's the gospel. Just trying to tell people to reconcile. As a matter of fact, I did like the fact that earlier what you said and not imputed, that you said what you read, not imputing trespasses yeah. on people. But that's what the the people who said they're representing Christ, yeah. that's exactly what yeah. they were doing. Like what we start off reading, how the, how these Christians came in and they're 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 changing people. Yeah. They're restricting people. They're harming people, yeah. and they're trying to physically install something in their lives mm. that is a free gift that they need to accept mm. based on knowledge that is given them. Yes. So if yeah. someone denies Christ, mm. that is their free will. Exactly. Cause that's exactly what he wants you to have a free choice free will and and they don't want to accept it but yeah. we we got it but the problem, bottom line is that being ambassadors the catholic church which was the biggest one before all the protestants moved out that's why that's why even uh what martin luther rebelled against them right the protestant yeah. movement came up because like guys you're not teaching the gospel yeah that's exactly what that man did it you're not Teaching You're not teaching the gospel, and I'm, he put up. Well, I'm, I can't remember what he put up there, but he put some some letters up, some 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 bullets on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Said I got off against you because none of this stuff you're showing me equals the gospel. Yeah, no nowhere near. It. it has nothing to do with it. Woo, completely Deep. opposite. It, it actually was the opposite. Deep and deep to. to to dwell on that yes is to i mean it's like where where are you adam where are you exactly <laughs> do you know in other words adam do you recognize 
I'm come out. I know where you are. I see you. I, yeah. I see you. But do you see yourself? You see where you are. Exactly. And these people call themselves ambassadors. Yeah. I don't even they, know if they could call themselves that. I don't know if that's what what they call themselves. They call well, themselves call missionaries. Them they call themselves missionaries or or or. <laughs> they, they call look put it away. They call themselves Christians. Yeah. That's the whole point. They both have been represent, rep, you know, being the ambassadors of rep, representing the body of Christ or Christ himself as the head of the church. That's what they call themselves to be. They came as representative, as ambassadors, yeah. while they was spying on the land, while they were sending reports back. Man, they were they had that thing down pat. You know? Yeah. So 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 that's what this what this I took this segment out because like you said there's many others right that talked about who we're supposed to be there's many that talk about the fact of our behavior there's many that talks about I'm talking about the gospel that talks about a tree this one I love this one I always use it all the time a tree is known by its fruit yeah. and not everybody that says Lord Lord say what enter into the kingdom and we we're focusing on the minor see it's so easy for us to get in the condemnation. I like that's why Romans 8 was all about that, wasn't it? There is now no condemnation. There is now there no condemnation to those who are in. In Christ. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. After the spirit. And then he gives you, brother, I'm telling you, I'm saying that the Lord's prayer daily is to allow you to repent daily for this junk that you're doing and to go to him to help pull down strongholds. All of us people, we all got strongholds, all got issues. Some of us will focus on what stronghold you got. Don't worry about what stronghold. If it's a stronghold, it's a stronghold. Take the, take the, take the beam out of your own eye. <laughs> you, busy, too busy looking at the other people's eye, right? Yeah. Go ahead, just go ahead, 21. So okay, for 20. It says, for he had made him, Yeshua, mm. Mm. sin for us. For who us. knew no sin. Yeah. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So, made. Yeah. 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 Might be. Mm-hmm. But you got a choice. Yeah. You got a choice daily. I think it's a choice daily to, to repent. Or a choice to keep doing what you're doing, all of us, and and I just I'm just more dead on the fact is that that hate, that steal, kill, and destroy. He said that's the thief that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And are you ambassador for the thief, or are you ambassador for Christ? Or even more detailed, are you allowing the enemy to use your flesh, mm. God to use your spirit? Exactly. And that's the gospel, brother. That's where we're supposed to be. And that's what we're trying to make sure. I think that, that what I'm trying to say, ministry should do that daily of trying to teach people, right? To to be what a Christian is supposed to be. And, and we, because you're all supposed to be ambassadors. And we're not saying we're perfect. He's perfect, not us. He said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but for sinners to repent. And that's a daily decision, isn't it? Yeah. You, brother, as is, 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 is a decision away from doing the wrong thing every day. I tell you, it, it, the scripture that just came to mind is that he, like you said, he didn't come to those who are whole. Mm -mm. He didn't come for those. Mm -mm. He says, the whole don't need no physician. Mm -mm. I came for those who are broken, downtrodden. <laughs> right. Those who, who who need a physician, so so to take it to the next level, what is the church doing? Yeah. Does the church need a physician? Is that is that what it's all about? Just go. They call I mean, it a hospital. Some of you said, "Well, it's a hospital." Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> it is not. If if. <laughs> If by his stripes you are healed, uh -huh. do you need to go to a church to be healed? Mm. Or do you walk in faith? Mm. 
that God has healed you. Come on. <laughs> so if if you've been blessed with all spiritual blessings. Yes, sir. You said heavenly, heavenly places. places. Yeah. In heavenly places. Then then why is it called a hospital? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the work of the ministry is not in the church. Mm -mm. The hospital, the, Christ went out to the public. Yes, he and did. Performed his 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 surgeries. Yes, he did. His practice. Come on now. You know his 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 his, his, his work was out in society, not in the synagogue. Yeah. He went to the synagogue to to let these uh Sadducees and Pharisees know who he was. Exactly. He and the did. authority and the power that he walked in. <laughs> Can and they ask you? Able, yeah, and how he was able to go out to those who needed physicians. He was there, fed the poor. And, and, and he <laughs> was so effective that he drew them. He drew them. He drew them because they said, we got to watch this guy. The whole, look, when that one guy said, the whole yeah. world is going the after him. The whole world is going <laughs> after and, and And so we have no powers. Mm -hmm. We have no authority. And yeah. he, he's, usur he's usur usurping our authority and our power because we never had it. <laughs> mm. You know, it's funny. That we never did. It's funny. They didn't go after, uh, they were worried about Christ bringing them in jeopardy with the Romans. Wow. So they, they decided to deliver him into their hands. What yeah. about all those zealots that yeah. were out there? Yeah. Right? Come on, bro. Those are people that actually did. The, they, yeah. they, they, they were going to kill you. They, they, yeah. That, that, it, it's, it's amazing. It's yeah. Amazing. They didn't feel threatened by them. Even Saul. Saul, what? Saul out there. Are we talking King Saul? No. Which Saul are you talking about? Which Saul? Talking about Paul. Talking about Paul. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Because the only reason I thought about him was the fact is that David killed a thousand. He killed. Yeah. He killed a thousand, and David killed ten thousand. Ten thousand. And the Paul's sitting there saying, "Hey, I, this guy, this guy got my back." Yeah, I need, I, I need him <laughs> with me. Yeah. I, I really need him. You see, what I'm saying I'm I, not I gonna need to promote, he, promote he, him to he's he. he he is really over my armies. Exactly. Obviously, he's doing something better than than my 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 captains. Yes, my sir. Captains. He, in other words, then they said instead of using them as a resource, yeah, they use them as a threat. Yeah. The those Sadducees and Pharisees didn't look at Christ. Same I mean, they, they they didn't even recognize a miracle. They, they recognized. Knew, they knew who he was. It said they knew who he was. They did. Nicodemus said that we know who you are. Yeah. You are a threat to them now. Yeah. Because you're not going our way. And and that and 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 that will always be mm -hmm. because this world system, this world has to end. Yeah. The the enemy, the 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 God of this world system has to come to an end. Exactly. So that, that 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 cannot stop until that happens. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I feel sad about the fact that so many would be here in this tribulation because they allow lies. It's because they didn't read the scriptures or they're not, or they ignore the scriptures. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah. You know? And it, 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 is, it is imperative that, you know, we, we, teach these people who they are mm -hmm. and how to find out who they are because if like we keep saying if you can't get it on your own if you can't see it yeah you can't get it and you can't grasp it the, the holy spirit needs something yeah. <laughs> to, to, to to work with Right. Well, you know, that goes back what you said. Do not know not this parable. How do you know all parable? Yeah. Because he's saying that that devil comes immediately to take the word that we see. That, that's what that chart, yeah. that pie chart is indicative yeah. of the work of the enemy 
I don't want them to get that word in their heart. Right. I don't want that. I, I'd rather them to be none at all, or just a few sentences, uh, or maybe a few parables, uh, stories. I'm good. I'm content with that. Yeah. I want to maintain, let's say, right there, or not all. I read half of it. Okay, got you. Good. You got half. You gonna read the rest of it? No, I'm not gonna read the rest of it. <laughs> almost all of it. Are you gonna read the rest of it? No, I'm not gonna read the rest of it. I just read almost all of it. Yeah. Uh, how about the? Then you got the ones who read it all. Are you reading it again? Yeah. Because you get more revelation when you read it more than once. Did you read it just to read it? Come on now. You were told to read it. Come on. You, so you can say I read it. You know, I know plenty of people. I, 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 I man, I knew people who could just recite scripture, mm. book, you, verse, chapter. You know, uh, but it wasn't living in them. Uh, my fact, yeah, because you, look, you you probably didn't call them out and did a fact check. Can, can you let me? What, what scripture was that? <laughs> no, I'm talking about people who actually knew. I, I'm talking about people who knew the word. Like they had photographic memory, but it was no different than knowing the cat in the hat. Yeah, you right. know, I'm just saying it, it, it had was, no meaning to it. Yeah, it had no it life just, in it. It was just information, and yeah. and and it was more so used to to condemn than to uh, uh, reconcile. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a gotcha. I got you. You yeah. didn't say yeah. You didn't quote that right. Oh. Or you're, or, or, or I can get away with this because the Bible says this, misquoting, yeah. misquoting scriptures. Wow. No, no, wrongfully dividing the word. Yeah. Because he clearly, I was like that. Somebody, those people, uh, God inspired people so good writing, rightly divide the word. <laughs> because why? Fred Price said it, you can wrongly divide the word. Yeah. If you can rightly, you can wrongly divide it. And if you don't study it for yourself, you don't read it for yourself, you won't get it. Amen. All right, brother, well, I'm going to let you go. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second session that we just came through. Like I said, I try to break them off in uh, 25, 30 minute segments. And I try to bring them A, B, C, and D. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you listened to the fact that we was talking about the, even the Catholic Church, the Pope is, is denouncing addressing the doctrine of discovery, which really is the doctrine of still kill and destroy. Because that's what they did for colonialism. They took people's culture, they took people's land, they took people, and they tried to take their culture and everything else away from them. And that's not what the teaching of the gospel is all about. And that's why I'm trying to t encourage you to read the Bible for yourself. Read it for yourself. Because that's where you'll learn to be able to recognize when somebody even actions or words or where they line up with the gospel. Too many times we go by what we heard. We go by what we heard because we know that some of the things that we hear lines up with our flesh. And our flesh desires no good thing. Or in our flesh, there's no good thing. And sometimes we have a tendency to go and lead toward the things of the flesh opposed to the things of the spirit. That's why you need to read the scripture for yourself. Don't, don't, don't just go to church. Study the word of God for yourself and learn to live and be able to overcome life by keeping in the word. I have to keep in the word. It's not, faith doesn't come back heard. It comes back hearing. So we need to be able to hear the word of God daily and recognize that we grow. Even the Lord's prayer, the daily prayer, the will of God is all the, is the, all the word of God. So we need to make sure we stay in the word of God. Hey, I'm really glad you took time to listen to our session. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, if you incorporate the old, the New Testament in the morning with your prayer, because you should be praying daily as well. If you have the time, let you get an audio book. I like I like audio books, right? Where the the the, the person is reading the scriptures from you. Because that way I ain't got to struggle with all the words and all the other stuff. So I, I encourage you to use an audiobook or app on your phone that read the scripture and read that one chapter a day. I guarantee you'll love it because you're listening. Faith comes back here and hear the word of God. And you're also dealing with the different wordings that you may not be able to pronounce. That's just me. I mean, you probably pronounce everything. But for me, 
I like to read. I like the other books to read with me. So that's what I encourage, man. Don't forget to subscribe, and I see you when I see you. And thank you again for listening, and thank you for your support. God bless. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.